Hey guys, welcome back. So here is part three of the actual design um, through the series using SketchUp for landscape design. So the first video segment, we took our house and designed our house. Um, I'll put the video for that above now. If you missed that, if you're just jumping in now, you're gonna wanna start from the beginning. So you can jump right into the actual design there or you can go back to the very beginning with my tutorial video showing the basics of everything, which I'll put that above right now as well. So after the first segment of designing our house, we went to designing our actual 2D draft of our landscape design. So that is where we are now. So if you missed that one, I'll also put that above right now and you can click on that. So now in today's segment, we are going to make our plan 3D. So this is where things actually start to you know, come to life and you start to see the potential in this program. So we're basically gonna do one thing for this whole segment and that's use this push-pull tool right at the top here. So we're gonna start and just work right around our plan. So we're gonna start with our set of stairs. So we know that we made our foundation 14 inches. So we're gonna pull up our landing 14 inches and I'll zoom in on this so there it is there's our landing we're gonna pull our step up 7 inches so there's our step so this tool is huge um, this is gonna be a huge time saver when I first started I wasn't using this tool I was actually going to each specific thing and using my line tool and drawing vertical lines and just connecting all the lines and it takes a long time doing that. Doing this is a huge time saver. So we're gonna come up to our sitting wall and we're gonna pull up, let's say we're gonna have a 21 inch high sitting wall with three inch caps. So we're gonna do 18 inches. Actually, I'm gonna go back and I'm going to go to edit and undo push pull. And I'm going to pull my pillars up first because when you pull your lower object up first, you're limited with objects that are connected to it. So if we were to pull that sitting wall first, we'd only be able to pull the pillars up to the same height as the sitting wall without doing more steps. Um, and we want our pillars to be higher. So we're gonna make our pillars two feet tall. So they're gonna be six inches taller than our sitting wall. Two feet, bring this up to 18 inches. As I go, I like to delete things like this just because they bug me. Um, swing around here. Do the same. Now we're gonna come back to our next sitting wall. We're gonna do the same exact thing. So go to push-pull. Two feet. We're gonna go to two feet. Then we're gonna do our 18 inches. We're gonna do our eraser tool. And you don't have to do this. Um, this is just me being kind of fussy. Um, once you start you know, presenting these to clients, you're probably gonna to wanna to get rid of little things like these. They may not pick up, pick up on them, but it's just gonna make it look that much more realistic. So same thing, we're gonna do an 18 inch high sitting wall. And you can come over, you can erase this line. Make our fire pit. I think we're using all techo for this project. Um, so we're using the Valencia fire pit kit, which we're making from scratch, not an element. So I think that's usually, I don't know, maybe 15 inches tall. So we'll go with 15. Then we're going to swing over to our bar area. So what we're going to do here is we're going to have an actual sitting, like a bar area, and then we're going to have a more of a cooking um, kitchen area. So we're going to pull our bar area up first. Normal bar height is usually 42 inches. Let's say we're going to have a um, two inch granite cap. So we're going to do a 40 inch height and then kitchen counter heights are usually 
36 inches. So we're gonna do same thing. So we're gonna do 34 inches. And then we're gonna come over here. We're gonna erase these lines because they don't need to be here. We're gonna erase that. And there we go. So now our design is actually 3D. And this is when things start to come together. So we're gonna do one last little thing and I'm not gonna go over this. I'm not gonna do the whole project because it's gonna take a long time to do this. Um, but you can do this on your own. But we're gonna put the caps on. So the caps are a little trickier, but they're not too bad. So these take a little bit of time. So let's just, for the sake of time, put our caps on the bar air. So we're gonna come out on the red axis. We're gonna have a two inch overhang. And then we're going to have a one foot overhang. So we're going to bring this out. I'm going to zoom in. We're going to connect this. Then we want to make sure we have our two inch overhang over here. So you can see it's kind of the program's kind of picking up on what I'm doing. So it's kind of predicting what I'm what I'm gonna draw for lines, which is great, big time saver. Same thing, so it knows that I was gonna do a two inch, so we're gonna connect those. We're gonna bring this line out two inches. See, it just drew it on the wrong axis, so you need to keep your eye out for that. Um, and that can really screw you up pretty pretty bad, especially when you're trying to do the outline of your patio if you do not keep everything on the right axis and you go to you know connect sections you know to make plant beds or to actually fill your patio space in with your um, the print that you're going to use or the hatch pattern um, you can really screw yourself up pretty good and you definitely want to avoid doing that so we're going to erase all these little lines oh, can't erase that one Any lines that we don't need, um, we're going to erase. And so now what we are gonna do is we are going to try something really quick. You always wanna try to do your push pull, push pull, pull tool if you can, just cause it saves time. So we can in this case. And we're gonna go two inches and there is our countertop. So you can see we accidentally erased a line that we weren't supposed to. So we are going to redraw that right here. And then we are going to box this back in. And then so just be careful what you're erasing because some, sometimes you're going to erase more than you're supposed to like I did here. So I, I really probably should have left most of the lines that I erased. Um, and now it's kind of a pain because now I'm dealing with kind of annoying camera angles. But there we go. So now we're back. So there's our 2 inch granite countertop. Um, so it has a foot of overhang on the bar side, two inches on the kitchen side. So you can do your countertops and your caps all the way around, just the way I, I just did it there. And countertops with proper overhang and everything will make the project look so much more complete. So I highly suggest doing it if you're doing a design for a client. It takes some time, but it's well worth it in the end. So there it is, guys. There's our you know 3d design so stay tuned for the next segment where we are actually going to put our you know hatch patterns and color everything so it starts to look real and uh, then we'll go from there so stay tuned and thanks for watching